Hi there, this is Brent Frank from Yacht Life One, and in this video, you are going to be looking at the top five biggest exploration yachts built to date. And let's not keep you waiting any longer. This is the number five on the list with 107.40 meters Andromeda. Built in 2015 in Norway, the yacht is previously called Ulysses and is the first private super yacht ever built by the Norwegian company Cleven that is known for building offshore and commercial vessels. And we absolutely love this design. The yacht has been built to withstand big waves and rough seas and is capable of long range passages. It comes with a helicopter landing pad and hangar and even has got a swimming pool. Would you like to see an iceberg up close? No problem. On the foredeck, there are two big cranes to lift the 21 meter tender. Yes, you've heard that right. A 21 meter tender, which even has its own accommodations. In total, Andromeda can take up to 30 guests to the most remote places of our planet. The number four on the list with 112.8 meters is Le Grand Bleu. The yacht was built in 2010 in Germany by Bremer Falcon for American businessman John McCaw, who sold it to surreal superyacht owner Abramovich. Abramovich obviously had it refitted to his own taste and the biggest addition to the yacht was the 16 feet swimming platform. The yacht has got many extras like two extra yachts on the aft deck, a 22 meter sailing yacht and a 21 meter sun seeker. There's a large built-in tender garage and it has two sports boats and a lander craft who takes a land rover ashore to take excursions on land. How's that for an exploration yacht? Number three on the list with 115 meters, Luna. The yacht was originally built in 2010 by Lloyd for Abramovich as an updated version of Le Grand Bleu on number four. The yacht is ice classed and can travel almost everywhere. Destinations have included the Galapagos, Sea of Cortez, Alaska and the endless islands of the Pacific. The yacht was refitted for a staggering 50 million euros in 2016 which included a fully new paint job. Although this yacht doesn't have 20 meter plus tenders on deck, the yacht was big news at the launch because of the very big open aft deck, which offers a lot of space and a gigantic pool. The yacht comes with two helicopter decks so you and your friends can both fly in and land on the yacht. Number two on the list with a length of 116.5 meters is the Ulysses. Ulysses is a new version of the in 2015 built Andromeda, which was formerly called Ulysses. The new Ulysses is almost 10 meters longer than its predecessor Andromeda. The yacht was also built in Norway and is the second privately owned super yacht to be built by Cleve. After four years in construction, Ulysses hit the water in summer 2018 and the yacht can take up to 60 guests divided over seven decks. It has got a complete armada of yacht tenders, including a 21 meter princess yacht on the front deck. And the number one on the list is a legendary yacht. It has been built by the co-founder of Microsoft, Paul Allen. With over 126 meters in length, it is the largest privately owned exploration yacht in the world, Octopus. The yacht has been built in 2003 by Lursen, you are very lucky because the yacht is currently for sale. So if you want to have a new yacht and you have 295 million euros to spend, then you're in for a treat. The yacht has been built to ice class 1A and is capable of ranging more than 12 and a half thousand nautical miles. Octopus is designed for long range cruising and exploration in extreme weather conditions. The yacht has got two helipads, one in the front and one in the aft. The hull has an integrated dock that stores a 13 meter custom Hinkley dive tender. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, this yacht will make you one of the coolest persons on earth because the integrated dock also hosts a 20 meter long submarine, which takes up to 10 guests for a dive you will never forget. When a dock has flooded, the submarine and the yacht can float out. Octopus also carries six tenders, including an ROV and an array of water toys. Octopus can accommodate 26 guests, and there's a lot of stuff to entertain the guests, including a large cinema, a recording studio, there's a private observation lounge, a beach club, diving deck, pool, gym, and a spa with hammam and sauna. 
Paul Allen used this yacht for all kinds of rescue, research and archaeological expeditions. He spent more than eight years searching for the Musashi, the largest battleship ever built in naval history by the Japanese. They found it in 2015. How's that for putting your yacht to good use? The yacht is currently up for sale at Fraser Yachts. Although it has not been delivered yet, we don't want you to miss out on this yacht. At 183 meters in length, she is the longest boat yacht in the world and the second largest yacht by volume. And the yacht is equipped with state-of-the-art sampling, observation, mapping and communication equipment for conducting research that covers the entire marine ecosystem. The yacht has got many labs on board for conducting experiments and it can host up to 36 guests and 54 scientists. The yacht is completely designed to battle climate change and take care of our oceans. The yacht will be delivered in 2021. Hey guys, what's up? This is Brent from Yacht Life and thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and obviously subscribe to our channel and check out our channel because we have a lot of more cool content over there. See you next time. Ciao.